Hello, truth seekers welcome to Cruise TV, your number one YouTube channel that provides you with facts, with zero to very minimal errors. You can see the use of science in each and every aspect of our life. Science is an essential element in daily life. We can't escape from the importance of science and its uses in our daily life. Basic knowledge of science is mandatory for everyone as it makes life easier and open our mind in many ways. As science is completely based on facts and experiments sir, it doesn't change with time, basics always remain same. According to my science teacher back in junior high, science is simply the systematic search of the truth about nature, then according to the internet Wikipedia science is a systematic enterprise that builds and organizes knowledge in the form of testable explanations and predictions about the universe. In 2009, the Science Council agreed that it wanted to be clearer when it talked about sound science and science-based policy. The Science Council has science in its name but had not previously clarified what this actually meant. In addition to developing a better understanding of what types of organizations might become members, it was felt that the recent inclusion of the advancement of science as a charitable activity in the 2006 Charities Act suggested that in that context a definition would be useful, this was how this definition arose. Science can be divided into different branches based on the subject of study. The physical sciences study the inorganic world and comprise the fields of astronomy, physics, chemistry, and the earth sciences. The biological sciences such as biology and medicine study the organic world of life and its processes. Social sciences like anthropology and economics study the social and cultural aspects of human behavior. The word, science, probably brings to mind many different pictures, a fat textbook, white lab coats and microscopes, an astronomer peering through a telescope, a naturalist in the rainforest, Einstein's equations scribbled on a chalkboard, the launch of the space shuttle, bubbling beakers. All of those images reflect some aspect of science, but none of them provides a full picture because science has so many facets. 1. Science is both a body of knowledge and a process. In school, science may sometimes seem like a collection of isolated and static facts listed in a textbook, but that's only a small part of the story. Just as importantly, science is also a process of discovery that allows us to link isolated facts into coherent and comprehensive understandings of the natural world. 2. Science is exciting. Science is a way of discovering what's in the universe and how those things work today, how they worked in the past, and how they are likely to work in the future. Scientists are motivated by the thrill of seeing or figuring out something that no one has before. 3. Science is useful. The knowledge generated by science is powerful and reliable. It can be used to develop new technologies, treat diseases, and deal with many other sorts of problems. 4. Science is ongoing. Science is continually refining and expanding our knowledge of the universe, and as it does, it leads to new questions for future investigation. Science will never be finished. 5. Science is a global human endeavor. People all over the world participate in the process of science. And you can too. So, Eureka! Or, aha! Moments may not happen frequently, but they are often experiences that drive science and scientists. For a scientist, every day holds the possibility of discovery, of coming up with a brand new idea or of observing something that no one has ever seen before. Vast bodies of knowledge have yet to be built and many of the most basic questions about the universe have yet to be answered. 1. What causes gravity? 2. How do tectonic plates move around on Earth's surface? 3. How do our brains store memories? 4. How do water molecules interact with each other? We don't know the complete answers to these and an overwhelming number of other questions, but the prospect of answering them beckons science forward. Thus, we all know that scientific questions can seem complex, e.g., what chemical reactions allow cells to break the bonds in sugar molecules, but they don't have to be. You've probably posed many perfectly valid scientific questions yourself. How can airplanes fly? Why do cakes rise in the oven? Why do apples turn brown once they're cut? You can discover the answers to many of these, everyday, science questions in your local library. 
but for others, science may not have the answers yet, and answering such questions can lead to astonishing new discoveries. For example, we still don't know much about how your brain remembers to buy milk at the grocery store. Just as we're motivated to answer questions about our everyday experiences, scientists confront such questions at all scales, including questions about the very nature of the universe. Let us know in the comment section about your science involvement to humanity if you've got any, and if not simply comment science for this helps the algorithm identify the channel as indeed a growing community. So having said all, are you thinking science? You might imagine that scientific thinking differs from the sorts of reasoning tools that you use in your everyday life, that scientists go around with a head full of equations through which they view the world. In fact, many aspects of scientific thinking are just extensions of the way you probably think every day, ever seen something surprising and tried to figure out how it happened. Perhaps you've seen a magician make his assistant disappear from a box and wondered if the trick involved a trapdoor. Ever sought out more evidence, e.g., by looking for a joint in the floor beneath the box? Ever come up with a new explanation for a mystery? Perhaps the trick used a mirror to reflect an image of an empty wall. These might seem like trivial examples, but in fact, they represent scientific habits of mind applied to an everyday situation. Scientists use such ways of thinking to scrutinize their topics of study, whether that's human behavior or neutron stars, and you can use the same tools in your own life. Benefits of Science The process of science is a way of building knowledge about the universe, constructing new ideas that illuminate the world around us. Those ideas are inherently tentative, but as they cycle through the process of science again and again and are tested and retested in different ways, we become increasingly confident in them. Furthermore, through this same iterative process, ideas are modified, expanded, and combined into more powerful explanations. For example, a few observations about inheritance patterns in garden peas can, over many years and through the work of many different scientists be built into the broad understanding of genetics offered by science today. So although the process of science is iterative, ideas do not churn through it repetitively. Instead, the cycle actively serves to construct and integrate scientific knowledge. And that knowledge is useful for all sorts of things, from designing bridges, to slowing climate change, to prompting frequent hand washing during flu season. Scientific knowledge allows us to develop new technologies, solve practical problems, and make informed decisions, both individually and collectively. Because its products are so useful, the process of science is intertwined with those applications. Benefits of science includes 1. New scientific knowledge may lead to new applications. For example, the discovery of the structure of DNA was a fundamental breakthrough in biology. It formed the underpinnings of research that would ultimately lead to a wide variety of practical applications, including DNA fingerprinting, genetically engineered crops, and tests for genetic diseases. 2. New technological advances may lead to new scientific discoveries. For example, developing DNA copying and sequencing technologies has led to important breakthroughs in many areas of biology, especially in the reconstruction of the evolutionary relationships among organisms. 3. Potential applications may motivate scientific investigations. For example, the possibility of engineering microorganisms to cheaply produce drugs for diseases like malaria motivates many researchers in the field to continue their studies of microbe genetics. Importance of science in our daily life. Science is very essential in our daily life. We use science in day-to-day -day life. We wake up and use paste and brush which both are given by science. We use science in cooking, eating, clothing etc. Baking involves basic knowledge of science and baking machines such as oven, microwave or endowments of science. Can you imagine your life without electricity? If no, then you must know that electricity is also given by science. Examples of use of science in everyday life are as follows. 1. We use cars, bike or bicycles to go from one place to another, these all are inventions of science. 2. We use soaps, these are also given by science. 
3. We sue LPG gas, stove etc. for cooking these all given by science. 4. Even the house in which we live is a product of science. 5. The iron which we use to iron our cloths is invention of science even the cloths we wear are given by science. The use of science in different fields includes. 1. In the field of agriculture. Science has made its mark by contributing so much. In present days machines are available even for sowing the seeds on fields. Tractor, thresher, drip irrigation system, sprinkler irrigation system etc. all are given by science. All fertilizers are also given by chemical science. 2. In medicine. The medical field is based entirely on usage of science. All the drugs are given by medicinal chemistry. Tools used in the medical field are also given by science. Machines such as stretches, ECG machine, MRI machines even injections are invented by science. 3. In transportation. All the vehicles are invention of science. Science has made the world a small place. You can reach from Kashmir to Kanyakumari in just few hours. Cycle, scooter, cars, aircrafts etc. all are inventions of science. We can transport goods easily and faster by the use of machines given by science. 4. In communication. Science has made the world very small. You can talk to anyone anywhere in fraction of seconds. Telephones, mobile phones etc. all are the inventions of science. All these medium of communications are available at very low cost as well. So, all are in the reach of common man. Science has made is very easy and cheap to talk to someone using a mobile phone. 5. In construction. Science is the base of all buildings constructed by us. Construction of buildings is completed based on the technology given by science. Machines used in the construction work such as motor graders, bulldozers, backhoe loaders etc. are given by science. And so many involvement of our everyday lives, so when next you try to achieve a task or goal try using the scientific approach in solving the problems at hand, for science is the truth in every question asked.